Hi children, how are you? I hope you are fine and very good morning to one and all. Okay children? Yes. So, uh, class 5 children. Class 5. Today I am going to be seeing the subject of science. Class 5. What is the lesson number 2? The lesson number 2 is animals everywhere. Animals everywhere. So, yesterday we have learnt about the different types of animals present in our environment okay whether it's a land water air air the birds fly yes that one and other animals also like insects okay in the water yes so in the water they are called as aquatic animals in the uh, those who are spending the time most on the trees they are called as arboreal animals okay now we are going to learn about the breathing organs in the animals different type of animals how they are pro, uh, done the pro process of respiration respirations the breathing of the process of breathing of inhaling and exhaling is called as what inhaling and exhaling that is called as air air okay exchange of gases is called as breathing or respiration okay so that organs we are going to learn about okay. So here, first one we are seeing the microbes. Microbes like paramecium, amoeba and uh, what we call as um, very very small microbes are present in our, even our body also, even in the air also, in the, even in the water also. We can't see with our eyes. We can see only with the help of microscope. Okay. So those uh, microbes also respire with the whole body, with the surface of the body. Okay. Uh, in your books, it is uh, there to the surface, body surface. Yes, in the body surface they have, they can be breathe and they can uh, respire. Okay. And they can be uh, like uh, where the uh, different factors are present, there they can be present. Okay. So there are different microbes are present like uh, paramecium is there, Vibina is there, amoeba is there, a lot of viruses are there. They also breathe. Okay. They also do the re uh, reproduction. Yes. Next one is insects. Insects doesn't have a hemoglobin. They are the lack of hemoglobin. Sometimes you children what you do you just go with the cockroach and you just kill it and when you kill it uh, sometimes a white color substance comes out. Yes, that white color substance is called as hemolin. That hemo hemolin is present in the insects. Okay, now we are going to study about the organs of breathing. Means breathing organs in the animals. How the animals are breathing. They are breathing through the spiracles. They are breathing through the spiracles. Please learn this properly, children. S P I R A C L E S spiracles. If you see the insects and uh, like butterfly or cockroach or something, you see the uh, uh, spiracles. Uh, they are called as air holes present on its body, and they can exchange the gases first. When they absorb the carbon dioxide, uh, sorry, they, when they absorb the oxygen, the all the process will be going through in them, and then it will expel the carbon di uh, carbon dioxide to the environment. Okay, children. So these are about the spiracles, and they don't contain the hemoglobin. Who consists of hemoglobin, children? Hemoglobin consists of mosquito. If you will just stab the mosquito, the uh, blood will come. Whose blood is that? Who oh, that blood is for the humans? And humans have homo hemoglobin in it. And hemoglobin is uh, what we call as a, 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 a red color substance or like red color pigment present in the blood. Okay, and it consists of iron. It consists of iron because of that iron we are seeing as a red in color. But the hemoglobin is absent in the insects. That is why we are seeing the white color substance. That is called as hemolymph. Okay children, I think you have understand this. 
Okay, children. Next one is fishes, the aquatic animals. The fishes, the microbes, they can breathe through the body surface. They can breathe through the body surface. Okay, children. They can breathe through the body surface. Okay. And insects through spiracles. Okay. Fishes, crabs, oysters, prawns. These are all of aquatic animals. They breathe through their gills. Yes. They breathe through their gills. Okay, children. The uh, oysters, crabs, fish. So, uh, fishes have what? Gills to respire. Okay, children. Next one is reptiles. Okay, here. Yes. Reptiles uh, uh, like uh, crocodile and uh, reptiles like what you call a salamander. Salamander is an amphibian. Uh, but uh, crocodile and uh, uh, what you call as different reptiles are present in our environment. Okay. Like crocodile. Let us see the example of crocodile. What, how they can respire. They respire through the lungs. They respire through the lungs. The reptiles are respiring through the lungs. But snake is also a reptile. But it, uh, it the, the breathing organ of a snake is the scales. The scales, the more skin present on the snake, it can respire through the scales. Okay, children, this much you have to understand. This should be very clear. Okay. Most of the reptiles they have lungs, like uh, crocodile is there, alligator is there. Okay. And they are respiring to the lungs. But what about the snakes? Snakes respire to the skin. They have scales. Okay. Next one, amphibians. Okay. Now I have told you about the salamander. Salamander, frog, toad. These are all the what you call as amphibians. Amphibians, I will uh, tell you children what are the things. So suppose frog is there, okay. When it is young ones, when the frog is in the young ones, like it is the stage of tadpole, tadpole, it breathes through the gills. It breathes through the gills. Frog, when the tadpole is grown, it becomes frog, right? Frog has a different ability to breathe. Okay. Frog is an animal which can live on land as well as in water. Okay children. But on land it has lungs, it has moist skin. Okay. So when on the land it breathes through the lungs. Breathes through the lungs. Water. That is the reason they, they have to come into the water. They have to reproduce in the 
water itself and then they are respiring in the water through the moist skin okay children one more thing i want to say children uh, whales and dolphins are the mammals and they are aquatic animals and they have lungs they respire through the lungs okay children i hope you have understand okay reptiles through the lungs only and uh, snakes like snakes like animals they breathe through the scales okay amphibians like frog in the tadpole they are breathing through the gills on the land they are breathing through the lungs on in the water they are breathing through the moist skin the humans they are also mammals but they are living on the land they are breathing through the lungs but in the aquatic animals the whales and the uh, whales and dolphins they are also mammals they are living in the water they are breathing through the lungs that is the reason you sometimes see dolphin is coming out of the water because to take air because to uh, breathe in the air understood children but uh, they don't have gills right but the fishes have gills fishes crabs oysters these all have they have all gills that is the reason they can uh, breathe through the gills okay now i hope you have understand all the breathing organs of the animals okay children take care children bye bye breathing mechanisms of animals mammals birds and reptiles breathe air through lungs breathing in air is called inhalation or inspiration and breathing out air is called exhalation or expiration when we inhale air enters the nose the tiny hair in the nose filters out dust and other particles air then travels down through the windpipe into the lungs the lungs are soft and spongy they are enclosed in a bone cage called the ribs the diaphragm which is a muscle in the chest helps draw in air during inhalation the ribs move up and out the diaphragm moves down the pressure in the lungs decreases and air rushes into the lungs inside the lungs oxygen present in air gets absorbed by the blood while carbon dioxide leaves the blood absorbed oxygen is then carried by the blood to other parts of the body when we exhale we breathe out carbon dioxide the rib cage moves down and in the diaphragm moves up thereby building pressure inside the lungs carbon dioxide is then pushed out of the lungs fish eels and tadpoles breathe air underwater when you see a fish opening and closing its mouth you are actually seeing it breathe instead of lungs fish and other aquatic animals have a pair of gills the gills contain filaments these filaments receive a good supply of blood water enters the mouth and passes over the gills the gills take in oxygen from the water at the same time carbon dioxide in the blood passes into the water the water is then passed out of the gills through the gill slits earthworms and amphibians like the frog have very thin permeable skin which allows gases to pass through easily blood vessels lie very close to the surface of the skin so air gets absorbed directly into the blood on land frogs breathe through lungs they are weak and unable to expand much cockroaches mosquitoes grasshoppers lice and ants are some insects insects do not have lungs or gills their blood does not carry oxygen insects have small holes called spiracles these spiracles are connected to air tubes called the trachea air moves into the trachea through spiracles trachea is in turn connected to smaller tubes these tubes are in direct contact with the body cells so the circulatory system in insects does not play a role in carrying oxygen 